Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss a few good questions from the concept of moment of inertia. Okay. Now in this first question, we have this, we have a rod of length 4L and mass 4M. Okay, mass 4M. And this rod is bent like this, so that this angle is 90 degree. Okay, and then again this angle is 90 degree. This angle is also 90 degree. Okay. Now this length is L, this is L, this is L, this is L. So this 4L length is bent like this. Total mass is 4M. So that means mass of each part, this part is M, this part is M, this part is M, this part is M. Okay. And we have to calculate the moment of inertia about axis perpendicular to the plane of the board and passing through O. This is O. Okay. So this axis, we have to calculate the moment of inertia. Okay. Now, see, uh, to solve such questions, you have to uh, look into this concept that moment of inertia is a scalar quantity. Okay, so that means if you are asked to calculate the moment of inertia of this a composite system, then you calculate the moment of inertia of each part separately and then add. Okay, and that too, see, uh, you have to find the moment of inertia about this axis. Now, if you see uh, to the left of this line, this part and this part, they are identical. So that means if you are able to calculate the moment of inertia of this part, about this axis, then for this part also, the moment of inertia about this axis will be same. Because this part and this part, they are identical. Correct? So that means if you calculate the moment of inertia of this part, from this point to this point, and then you multiply by 2, so that will give you the moment of inertia about this axis. Correct? So, moment of inertia about O is equal to, see, uh, I am going to calculate the moment of inertia of this segment and then multiply by 2. Okay. So, now this part is again divided into two parts. This one part, this another part. Now, for this part, this O is the end point. So, for this rod, O is the end point. End point, the moment of inertia. M is the mass, L is the length. Then ml square by 3 is the moment of inertia of a rod about an axis passing through the end. Correct? So that means for this portion, the moment of inertia will be mass is m, length is l, so ml square by 3. Okay. So for this part. Now for this part, for this rod, you are calculating the moment of inertia about this axis. So moment of inertia for this rod about this axis is ml square by 3. This axis is parallel to this axis. Correct? This axis and this axis they are parallel. So we have to use parallel axis theorem. So by using parallel axis theorem, what do you get? ML square by 3 plus this is length is L. So ML square. Correct? So this is I naught is equal to 2 times uh, 2 ML square by 3 plus ML square. So this is 3 plus 2, 5. So I naught is equal to 10 ml square by 3. So that means the moment of inertia about this axis will be 10 ml square by 3. Okay. Now in this question, we have uh, three identical rods, each of length L and uh, mass M. Okay, mass M. And in this, it is asked to calculate the radius of gyration radius of gyration about an axis passing through one of the corner and perpendicular to the plane of the triangle. So that means suppose axis is this axis about this axis. We have to calculate the radius of gyration. Okay. Radius of gyration represented by the symbol K. Okay. Now to calculate the radius of variation, uh, we need to first calculate the moment of inertia about this axis. Okay. Now, for this rod, this point is the end point. Again, for this rod, this is the end point. Okay. So, for end point, we know the moment of inertia is ml square by 3. So, I is equal to, uh, for this rod, it is ml square by 3. For this rod, it is again ml square by 3. For this rod, the moment of inertia about this axis, axis passing through center of the rod, it is ml square by 12. 
m mm n square by 12. Okay, and then uh, I have to calculate the moment of inertia of this rod about this axis. Then only we will get the total moment of inertia. For these two rods, I have already written the moment of inertia. Now, for that, the moment of inertia of this rod about this axis. For that, we have to use parallel axis term. So, this is m n square by 12 about this axis. What about this distance? This distance will be root 3 by 2 into L. Correct? So, this will be plus 3 ml square by 4. 3 ml square by 4. Okay. So, if we simplify this, so this is I will be equal to 12. So, this is uh, 4 ml square plus 4 ml square plus ml square plus uh, 3 9 ml square. Correct? So, this is 10. 18, so this is 18 ml square by 12, so 6, 3, 2, so this is 3 ml square by 2. So this is the moment of inertia of uh, this system about this axis. And we are asked to calculate the radius of variation. So this is 3 ml square by 2, this quantity is equal to uh, 3m, this is the total mass of the system, times k square. So if C M if M is the mass, K is the radius of dilation, then K, I is equal to M K square, then M is the total mass of the system. Here the total mass of the system will be M plus M plus M, that is 3M. Correct? So this 3M and 3M gets cancelled. So K is equal to L by root 2. Okay. So this is the expression for radius of dilation of this system, system of equilateral triangle about an axis passing through the corner perpendicular to the plane of the triangle. Okay.